Their alternative to incarceration is no incarceration. That's not a solution. If they don't, they've never had a solution because it was never part of their concern. Uh, what happens uh, to victims, the pain and their suffering, is part of the revolution. It's uh, factored in, baked into the cake, so to speak, of this transformation of society. So when she admitted that her job isn't to reduce crime, she didn't see the problem in that, right? Her job was to reduce the burdens on the criminal. Uh, and, and, and that's where you hear the phony lie of social justice. When someone says they support social justice, you are about to be pushed in front of a cell. Can one ever be surprised by what comes out of the city its mouth? No shock. Gutfeld once said, because wokeism is so absurd. <laughs> like, I, I have the quote, right? So, like, you see my glasses, and <laughs> you can see the reflection. I'm going to read the quote to you. And yet, as I read this, when he's not trying to be funny i find him funny because everything conservatives do although it's not a joking matter this is the laughable boogeyman that they put on anything they just don't like so let's read it together shall we because wokeism is so absurd the most persuasive critics are progressives people on the left actually quick interjection let me just try to help out good old Greggy, all four foot eight of him. Greg, you know, it's a wide array of people with different subcategories when it comes to the left. There are many. So I'm curious, man. You went with left and then you went with progressives. I mean, which one is it? This is a concept that most conservatives do not understand because I've, I'll read the rest of the quote in a second. Because I remember seeing a TikTok where a conservative dude was going around and being like Republican or Democrat, Republican or Democrat. It's not what it's about. And this girl who's probably in college is like leftist. And he's like, what? That's exactly how I feel about these people. Moving on. So he's saying uh, people on the left are the people that um, basically thinks is turning stuff to blank. Wow, these guys are destroying us. It's like when you're a conservative, you come out against white nationalism. This is kind of the mirror image. Wokeism is like that. In fact, I would argue that wokeism is every bit as racist as white nationalism. So basically... He thinks anybody who calls out racist white people are racist. This is the, I know you are, but what am I line? It's preposterous. It's stupidity. And yet it sells. Doesn't that say so much about the conservative movement? Aside from them being fully uneducated, that is their voting block, fully uneducated. And aside from them wanting to privatize everything because they benefit from it. To call wokeism racist, I mean, do tell. You know, when I think of white nationalism, I think of people that my grandfathers went and killed in World War II. When I think of white supremacy, I think of the big H, whose speeches, the guy Gregfeld really wants to kiss the ass of, maybe shove his entire mouth in there, had the big H's speeches on his nightstand. It's interesting. It's interesting. When I think of white supremacy, I think of David Duke. I think of them going after black people and brown people and gay people and Jewish people and using their religion as a shield for bigotry. Yet for us to say, hey, you know what's pretty messed up? That the Constitution was written by slave owners and that there is systemic racism that makes us racist. Greg Gutfeld, I, I need to be clear about this. Greg Gutfeld is what Dave Rubin strives to be. And they are both so unfunny. The one thing you could do as a comedian is make us laugh. 
I laugh at his stupidity and his dishonesty. I don't laugh at him. I'm sorry, I don't laugh with him. I laugh at him. Many others do as well. If you do really want to have a good laugh, though, go check out Dave Rubin's former comedic career and see the real punchlines that guy has a doozy. I am just curious. Like, why is it so easy? I know, like, how many minutes am I in? I'm at 454. I could, I could talk about this for hours. Why is it so easy for these people to make so much money and do so little? Like, Cat Abu, who was a great follow on threads, <laughs> had a stand-up comedy spoof, and it is literally conversations my buddy, my buddies and I will have on anything that we're talking about that happens throughout the day or throughout the week, and then we'll just go off on tangents like we're conservatives because – that's just how easy it is to make fun of anything. Anything. They have that app that'll tell you if stuff is woke. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's insanely stupid. You know, he's promoting it, Charlie Kirk, who also, according to his tweet, sent buses to the January 6th insurrection. But tell me. I, I am open to this conversation. Why is it so easy for people to be so stupid and yet make so much money? Because Greg Gutfeld is that.